personally, what, what's your time frame or kind of timetable just decide on what you're going to do next? Well, I don't really have a timetable, to be honest with you. I think, you know, we talked in January or whatever it was. Uh, we'll sit down after the season at some point uh, and then just let the time take the time. And I think everything is just going to figure itself out here over the next few weeks or months or whatever that might be. Um, I'll take some time now, spend, spend with the family and, and, you know, be a dad full time. Um, that's something I'm looking forward to uh, right now. Has the stretch rejuvenated you kind of just how well you guys, how the win, the winning here down the stretch, has that kind of maybe, maybe swayed you a little bit more that it'd be fun to come back and I gotta be honest, are a thousand games at all in your mind that you would reach that? A thousand games is definitely. I've always looked at a, at a huge milestone. That's something I think I would would be. You know, if that if that were to happen, a uh, huge milestone, something I'd be extremely proud of. Um, yeah. But just you know, given the opportunity to represent uh, this organization for all these years, it's meant a lot to me. Is this? Uh I mean, considering all the problems you've had with the knee in the past, I mean, just how satisfying is this season for you personally? That part in that way has been um, extremely satisfying, to be honest with you, to be able to, to come back and play and, and not be in the same discomfort that I, that I was for a few years there. Um, so that part, I'm very happy that with the way I feel really right now, um, you know, if someone would have told me this a year ago, I would have taken it any day. How about being 38 years old and leading the t team in games played this season? Yeah, you know, that's just kind of how it works sometimes. I don't know if anyone would picture that before the season started, but, you know, like I said, we've had some injuries uh, on some key players um, and some guys that play through pretty much anything. When they get shut down, you know that it's bad. Um, so, unfortunately, we've had, you know, too many guys missing too many games. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's up to, to the guys that were playing to get the job done, and, and we weren't good enough uh, to do that. But maybe in the long run, it'll help, it'll help with some of those guys who were put into positions that were maybe... Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think especially this, this, this stretch we've had now, uh, it's extremely satisfying to see what the, these guys can do, and they've really taken the opportunity to, to showcase themselves and, see, and, and show what they can do, um, especially the young guys that... You know, now all of a sudden get a chance to play more than maybe they would have otherwise if everyone was healthy. So it's encouraging to see, and I think uh, it just goes to show the depth that you have in the organization. Uh, and it's encouraging to see for the future. How much is uh, just another, uh, as far as weighing into your decision, the fact that how much you want to just the, the, the training and, and, and what it takes as far as off-season workouts to, to prepare yourself for another season. How much of a factor is that going to be in your decision whether you want to go through with that again? Oh, that'll definitely, definitely, uh, you know, come into play. There's no doubt about that. You know, when I was younger, I've, I've always enjoyed working out. And I always thought, you know, when guys were saying the motivation part, so what's, you know, what's the problem? You know, we all like working out. But, you know, now you realize it's, you know, you're right there yourself too. It's it's it definitely gets harder each and every year, um, and that's definitely that'll definitely come into play.